The Olympian is in him. He sold us. He's the one that came out of his bedroom one day and said, I dreamed I won the Olympics. And then he started writing about winning the Olympics. It was a matter of fact, we got called to the school for a parent-teacher conference because every time he had free-form writing, all he would write about was Taekwondo and winning the Olympics at six and seven and eight. And they called us in and they said, we think he maybe has some issues with anger management or violence. You know, and we were like, no, he wants to win the Olympics. That's all he cares about. You can go do some seminar and they get 10% better. But at some point in time in their career, all of a sudden that 10% doesn't exist. When you're starting to talk about the Olympics, you're not talking about trying to find a half a percent, you're just trying to find, you know, a fraction of a percent to be mentally tougher. And that's that's why he ended up going to Poland. And to train you with know. the Navy SEALs. Yeah, he trained with the Navy SEALs for a little bit. And when he was 16. Went to Poland and, you know, stuff that, and people look at you and go, he went to Poland for what? You know, and you're going, yeah, it's, it's making him mentally stronger. When we went to Louisville, Kentucky Nationals, they had just implemented that junior safety rules. And as if your head moved from a back kick, you were done. First fight of the day, the first kick, fights over. They disqualified him. We had gone all that distance and he walked out of the ring after one kick and he just goes, no, we're, we're done today, but I'm going to go back and train harder. Hands down, the hardest fight I've ever sat through was the last fight with Mark Lopez. That, that was the most stressful fight I've ever seen. And not, I mean, it, it, it was on the line. I mean, it was, he had one fight. He had to win to go to the Olympics. And that was the fight. And he's walking into this ring with a guy who's a two-time silver medalist. I'll be a nervous wreck, you know. I, I will run to the bathroom every three seconds before when he's on deck, which is what I do, and I twist my hands a lot, and, but no, he's ready. 